what can I say? Things have been going brilliantly since the last episode, but today is a big one. We're playing our old club, Blythe Spartans, away from home with two informed strikers for their team. Dan Maguire and this new boy, I can't remember his name, name Dealey or something like that. He's on loan to them anyway, so they're playing well. Uh, so we've got to be on top form. And then we're playing second placed Nantwich Town. I wonder why they're second. Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018 and part 5 of Season 3 of The Journeyman with Boston United. And as you can see, we are top of the league by 3 points to Nantwich Town. It's been an absolutely brilliant run of form. We've got two matches today, one against the old club Blythe Spartans and then one against second place Nantwich Town. So, as you can see, dynamics, brilliant. Hopefully we can keep that going. But let's have a look at the schedule. We uh, had a very similar match to the last one against uh, Spennymoor, against Kettering. We were just playing ugly. But we got a goal through Phil Mitchell towards the end and, and he managed to, to get us the winner. And that's now, what, three, six, seven, eight matches in a row. And we got the ninth against Chorley Town. Kabongo with a hat-trick and Phil Mitchell. We were 2-0 up in the match. They brought it back to 2-2. Kabongo got another two goals in there to make us top of the table after 16 games. 35 points is not too shabby at all. We've only lost three times all season. Hopefully, it'll remain three by the end of this episode. So, let's have a look at the team that we are going to face off against um, Blythe Spartans today. We're going to have Leon Davies, uh, oh, sorry, George Willis in goal, Leon Davies, Parker Gilella. And Molyneux in defence. We're then going to have Chapman and Vince in the midfield with Ward and new sign and Bobby Joe Taylor. Uh, he's coming on loan from Bromley. He's had a decent time of it. I thought we needed a little bit more depth on that left wing. So we're going to bring him in. Although I, I'm going to move Molyneux there actually. Uh, I'm going to have him on support. And then we're going to bring on, we're going to bring on Andy Nugent. Last minute sign in there. Um, just because we're away from home. Going to go for that. And then Phil Mitchell and Kabongo up front as usual. So, let's get into it. Uh, Blythe are still a very good side. Um, you know, they've got two go strikers that are scoring goals uh, in Dealey and Maguire. So, it is going to be tough. And then Christian Orner can do anything with the football, really. But not many of our lot are still there. Uh, it is a very different Blythe side to the one that we were managing back in Season 1. But, alas, we've got to come into this. We've got to try and win the game. Uh, we're going back to our old stomping ground. Um, we've got to go and try and win. That is the only thing that will be acceptable. Nugent forward towards Molyneux. He has Chapman. Can he shoot? Vince, just wide. Unlucky. Unlucky there. They've just had an injury. Masondes come on. But uh, as you can see, Luke Jordan, I think we had. Buddle, we had. Maguire, Horner, uh, Holden maybe. Uh, this guy and Wassey. They're the only real remaining members of our team that we created all the way back in Season 1. Nugent into the middle. Oh, it's into the back of the net and it was Jalela. And that looked like a sweet volley there. But Nugent with the assist, the man that we brought in at the last minute, Andy Nugent, into the middle. And there you go, Jalela. It was right onto his right boot. And we're 1-0 up just before half-time, which is perfect timing for us to get that goal. Um, but 1-0, that's what we're talking about. Good start, good, good start here. Now then, big decision to make at half-time, isn't it? Mm. Do we move 4-4-2? And maybe go to control instead? Because um, I don't want to particularly just attack all match. So I think we are going to move back to this. Um, 
we might even change this as well as the game goes on so we're gonna go for uh, counter I think and we're just gonna we're just gonna try that simply because I'm worried of a, a Blythe Spartans counter attack quite literally in this second half so I think I, th I think it would be best to sort of move back a little bit but still have our two attackers up front here's Kabongo now Phil Mitchell that was a big chance that was a big chance that would have sealed the game I think 2-0 at this stage would be brilliant for us I hate to think that we've went defensive too early 65 minutes gone though this could be a chance Davies now at Chapman into the middle Kabongo Molyneux with a chance and it's over the bar Mm. 70 minutes gone mm. I think Kabongo comes off I think Phil Mitchell's the best sort of target man that you could ask for so um, I think Gilella there as an anchor man because he's comfortable playing there will bring Killick on for Kabongo hmm We'll go with that for now. That looks good. Hilton away. Good header. Now here's Vince. Oh, it's Wood now. This hopefully isn't going to be their chance. Apologies about the noise there. My phone just fell off. Here's Horner. Now Maguire. Thompson. Come on. Get a tackle in. That's forward to Dan Maguire. Oh, <laughs> Oh, and it's just as we've made tactical changes as well. That's really frustrating. We're going to go Christmas tree now. We're going to go attacking because we want to do this. How annoying. Ten minutes to go. Is anything else going to happen? It doesn't look like it. We're going to bring on Stephen Rigg. And we're also going to bring on Lewis Hamilton because Phil Mitchell hasn't had the best game. But I guess we'd take a draw here, to be honest with you. Uh, it is frustrating, though. Don't want that winning streak to be over. Nine in a row. Chapman now to Vince. Vince to Ward. Come on now. Ward down this right-hand side. Nah, that's it now. It's going to be 1-1. One, one. Uh, one all. Never mind. Um, they'll be happy with that, most definitely. We won't be. They had the, the one chance and they, they took it, to be fair with them. and They deserve a, a point out of that for that. Um, we had some great chances in the match to finish that off and we didn't. But now, what we do have to make sure is that we beat Nantwich Town. Right guys, here we go. It's crunch time. It's Nantwich Town. And we have made a couple of changes. We've brought in Stephen Rigg on the left-hand side. I no other changes to tell you about. Everything else is unchanged. We've applied for the England job as well. Um, just for a bit of fun, um, to be honest with you. I don't think we've got a hope in hell of getting the job. We, we shouldn't do, and I, I probably won't take it anyway, because it's it, it wouldn't be realistic, would it, to go from Boston United to England. Um, but I just thought will apply for it and we didn't get thrown out straight away but I'm sure we will do at some point but this is a huge match we need to to win this game assert our dominance on the league um, as long as we don't lose we're gonna finish top of the league anyway which is what we wanted at the start of the episode but this isn't good it's Greenfield it's a good save for, from, from Willis that's good stuff here's Jalala on the ball Jalala now to Davies to Chapman a ward that's forward, but it's away. Here's Berry. Now to McGill. That's forward to Lim. Lim now to McGill. McGill to Berry. Oh. And we're 1-0 down. Don't want to watch that. It's all gone a little bit wrong. You know, Blythe got that equalising goal through Dan Maguire and... We haven't really done anything since that. And now we're 1-0 down against Nantwich. Oh, I 
could be two. Oh wow, that was close. We need to get back into this and quickly demand more. Come on, come on, come on, lads. Just not doing anything, not creating chances. And that was the secret to all of our success, was creating all those chances. Here's Wilding. Salmons. Oh, buried a nurse. Oh, it's a good save again. But we're just running a very, very, uh, very much on a tight rope here. And here's Lim. Chance for two. Good save. Now Nugent gets it forward. Phil Mitchell now to Kabongo. This could be a chance. Kabongo, that's a bad tackle. Um, but look at this. This is not what we want. Wollstone away. Oh, it's them on the ball. McGill, chance for two. McGill, Nugent away. Got three minutes to hang on till half time and give them the good old Hanard Rolligan. Nugent away. Now here's Phil Mitchell to Kabongo. This is the chance. Kabongo loses it. It's the chance for them, isn't it? McGill. Nurse. Great save once again. They've had four clear-cut chances in this first half. They should be well clear of us. But instead, we're still fighting. Here's Kabongo. Mitchell. I thought we might have had a chance just before half-time there. Looks like we are going to come in. 1-0 down, which wasn't part of the script, to be honest with you. We want to we wanna get back into this. Yeah, where is the passion? You know, that they've been absolutely rubbish today. I think we're going to bring on Molyneux, because Rig's been rubbish, and I think Rig was a bit of a mistake signing, to be honest with you. Um, Brian Watson's going to come on as well for Adam Chapman. Which isn't a substitution I'll do lightly because we know how good Adam Chapman is. But I think we just need a bit of fresh impetus in this second half. We need a couple of fresh ideas out there. And hopefully it can turn us around. <sighs> Tell you what, that's, a, that's an important save. Right there from George Willis. Here's Jalela. That's just not good enough. Jackson. Wilding. Now to Salmons. Berry. Greenfield. Now to McGill. Can we get a tackle in? Lim. Tackle him. Berry. Nurse. Oh, it's painful to watch because you know what's coming. You know. Oh, it's hit the post. Six clear cut chances for them now. We are getting away with absolute murder here. Jackson. That's forward to McGill. Chalala cuts it out. That's what we're talking about. Kabongo now. Loses it. I think he's going to come off next. Here's Molyneux. Nugent now to Watson, Vince, Mitchell, forward to Kabongo, can he get in, he can, but not to anybody good, here's Ward, Davies, Kabongo, off the bar, disappointing, it's forward to Phil Mitchell, here's Lim, McGill, Lim, into the middle, Willis tips it over. <sighs> Jalala away. Donnelly Blackburn on the ball. <laughs> right, that's it. Kabongo's coming off. We're going to put Lewis Hamilton up front. Come on. <sighs> it's just not good enough. Not good enough from them. Just not doing anything. If it's still like this in four minutes, we're going to go overload. Going to do that now. <sighs> overload never works. This is probably the worst decision I've ever made. Pff, let's try it though. 85 minutes gone. Not even making a chance, although Molyneux into the middle. We don't deserve anything out of this game. Lim, Nurse, it's going to be two. Game set and match. Game set and match.
just pathetic, really. You wouldn't think this was the team that won nine consecutive football matches. We've just been pathetic today. And we've lost. We've lost against Nantwich. That's our first defeat for a long time. And it's at home as well. Not good enough today. And now I've got to go and play Lemington in the FA Trophy. We'll probably lose that as well. And all of a sudden things might just go downhill a little bit. But hopefully not. Hopefully we can get back on track in between episodes. We're just going to uh, have a quick look at when we're going to come back. I think we'll come back against Morgan Because Morgan are one of the bigger sides in the league. They've uh, had two consecutive relegations, so we definitely want to keep an eye on them. Um, this is taking quite a while to load, though. Um, don't really know why, to be honest with you. I think I might just end off the, the episode here. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me and for the channel, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.